Hi, and welcome to my walkthrough of the Light Cargo Mackerel and Hard Space Shipbreaker in the new 0.1.4 patch, which heavily redesigned the interior of the Mackerel ship class. This walkthrough will guide you through what's new on this ship, how to tackle the new difficulties, and, uh, well, show off the new work order system, and, uh, yeah. Basically, this video is perfect for you if you want to check out how to beat these new ships or if you want to check out what has changed without playing yourself. And if you like this kind of content, drop my channel a little subscription and you won't miss anything in the future. Alright, so to begin with, the ship hasn't changed too much there from the outside. We have the same design with the uh, airlock and uh, everything. That's nothing new, but the inside of the light cargo uh, mackerel is uh, something new, and I really like the um, changes the Your game here uh, shows off. So, welcome to the new light cargo mackerel. It's uh, cram filled with uh, it's brim filled with stuff. Like it's amazing how many things in here are. There's the uh, cockpit, so there's nothing new here and uh, there's a crew bed in the way here there's uh, just stuff I have to work through to get to the generator room and here's the first new thing uh, the generator is not lodged on this side we're having a window which allows me to enter the uh, outer hull of that ship and uh, the best part about all this um, these are all procedural generated elements so um, most of the time the game will now give you uh, completely new uh, things to work with and uh, that's quite cool. So I forgot to uh, pump in the key into that uh, oopsie. Well, okay. So I have that tether already on here so I might as well use it. Um, if that happens you have to live with the, the loss of a tether. I hope that's some thing that will get dressed into future patches but so far it's okay all right so we got we dislodged the um aft and the uh the top and the bottom uh plate here and uh, next off is this part here i'm going to remove the back side of that ship now to have an easier way of entering the outer hull of that ship on both sides so there we go that's four of them. I'm going to use the tether here to move that away. And uh, now we're going to see if I get lucky or uh, if the thruster is going to explode on me. It's uh, Since I didn't use the computer console, uh, sometimes just a uh, fire will start here. But uh, well, got lucky this time. So after this has been removed, I want to have the uh, thruster console, of course, as well. So I just... Uh, moved the uh, aft part of that ship away because I didn't know if it would explode when I uh, pushed that valve. So I wanted to keep that explosion away from the rest of the ship. So just to make sure my other salvage doesn't get destroyed. There we go. That's the thruster, which is also a uh, new work order element there. And uh, overall, the uh, new thing about the work orders is we're having much more variety on those. So uh, basically, the work orders, as far as I've seen, orient a lot um, around the question, what kind of ship are you salvaging right now? So here we go. Now I have access to the outer hull on both sides. And the next step is flushing out the fuel out of those valves because uh, this uh, will diffuse those pipes. Alrighty, there we go. Other side as well. I still have no clue how to diffuse those pipes on uh, the wall outside. I'm going to show you what I mean in a sec. So the barrel now is uh, movable. So I really don't know how to. Uh, do these pipes they keep uh, lit whatever I do so far I haven't found a way of diffusing them they're quite dangerous so beware all right let's uh, fetch those uh, fuel uh, canisters they're new as well and I'm going to uh, leave this part for now and get into the main corridor of the ship so uh, there's uh, nothing too new in here but uh, yeah 
due to the uh, excessive, am excessive amount of things in there, um, we are way more likely to uh, spread fires in there than we were in the past. And uh, with the uh, fuel canisters in there, you see, there's quite a risk connected to that. So, um, I really enjoy those uh, updates because they uh, discourage the use of the uh, split saw a little bit because a lot of people uh, were criticizing for the last patch that the uh, split saw is just a uh, better instrument in 90% of the situations because it instantly destroys cut points reliably. And with all these uh, things now uh, crammed in here, the split saw gets way less reliable. And uh, as you saw, even the stinger has uh, the risk of uh, setting things on fire. So with those uh, fuel uh, barrels in the vicinity, this uh, could have gone quite differently. Alright, so that's one I can just uh, split saw safely. So I really do like that the split saw is no longer a no-brainer on these ship models. That's a really good uh, development. So here I rather use the stinger because I don't want to destroy those crates. And that's gameplay I really do like and uh, using all the tools I have and uh, I have to think about what tool to use when and that's a quite good feeling. So there goes the crew beds. Oops. Uh, I, uh, I think I could have done that differently. So the Those uh, mattresses are uh, material for the furnaces, that's uh, a little bit uh, unfortunate. So I think I'm going to toss them onto the barge just next time and ignore that. Because I can't imagine that the mattresses are worth a fortune. <laughs> but who knows, maybe space mattresses are, after all, quite valuable. So the cargo hatch is a new uh, recurring... Um, objective on the work order table and I do appreciate that so uh, you have to put it onto the barge and it's always on the top side of the ship which makes it a little bit finicky but yeah whatever I, I really like to use uh, tethers everywhere I know but they are a safe way to uh, get your things done without uh, risking the loss of stuff so I gotta open that airlock here it's quite foolish to not uh, open the airlocks there's fuel here. I'm just checking out if the, there's some oxygen somewhere lying around. I could, uh, I could just grab, but no. So I left click and uh, then hold the right mouse button to grapple myself towards the... Uh, what's the thing called again? Uh, well, the hab. The hab. Um, because that's a very, very quick way to get back to your uh, workstation in case you didn't know that trick yet. Now you know it, use it, it's really awesome. Alright, so uh, I have re refueled everything. So the real important thing is that once the speed uh, turns red, you're going to suffer damage when you smack on a solid surface, so uh, handle with care. Alright, so we got that uh, interior here done. So, uh, there are still a few things to be uh, salvaged there, though. So, I don't care about that mattress. Um, and uh, if you want to knock off the mackerel in just one uh, go, um, without going uh, for a second... Um, for a second shift, you're uh, better off concentrating on the work orders with, um, as hard as you can. Which means, uh, if there's no furniture on the work order, don't toss around any uh, unnecessary seats. If there's no storage on the work order, don't touch those storage bins I'm uh, doing here. And focus on the things which are on your work order table before doing anything else. Because this way you have a fair chance of knocking off all the work orders in one go. Otherwise, it's a little bit difficult to do them all without being a speed freak. And that's certainly not me. So, uh, the real nasty thing about that, it's pretty hard to get that fuel tank uh, outside there without uh, 
doing something. What I really like to do is I like to dissolve those junction parts here because that uh, opens the fuel switch. But really, be careful. Be very, very careful. This is a very finicky process and the moment your stinger touches that barrel, everything around you explodes. So the best way I found to avoid uh, explosions that way is to get really close to those things and uh, avoid having the explosives in your line of sight. Like here I don't even, I haven't even seen that uh, barrel and uh, when I do it this way most of the time uh, everything is just fine afterwards. So with those barrels out of the game um, we're going to have way less trouble with uh, dismantling this whole thing here. There we go. So I want to get rid of the uh, outer hull of that ship now. Um, as the next part, but before we can do that, there's still the nacelles in here. So let's get rid of them next. Um, so there. Um, those pipes are not dangerous anymore now, because we uh, removed all the necessary things. So uh, with the twin nacelles, um, it looks like it's not disconnected yet, but uh, it's just such a heavy object that I have to go outside to move it. It won't. It's not possible to budge those things from the inside. You just uh, get uh, tossed into the hull of that ship, and uh, nothing will happen. There we go. So once these uh, pipes are defused, don't worry to use your split saw. It's not dangerous anymore. It's just uh, very dangerous as long as there are. Uh, um, lit, uh, lit pipes or pure barrels around you, so now we're pretty safe. Here. So, uh, next step is uh, removing all these cut points. I really love to do that with the split saw in a rapid manner, but you see here goes uh, the, cool the next coolant uh, thingy here, so I'm uh, calibrating my shots carefully. And uh, now everything is uh, plugged off, and let's see. I'm going to uh, flick a tether uh, towards that Jax. Oh, who's still there? Uh, the off part of that ship is still there. So, there we go. After all the uh, connectors are gone, uh, cut points, you can move the whole section because those pipes connect the whole thing together. So if you want to divide it like into two parts, you can just cut here and boom, it'll split into uh, two halves. So this is a nice way of portioning your buffalo if you wanna, uh, if you struggle getting uh, those huge parts of nanocarbon into the uh, processors. So there we go. Let's uh, do that same thing on the other side. And as you see there, there's power cells and other valuables in there. So please cut with uh, caution. And uh, since there's the uh, air cell in between, um, I'm going to uh, cut the um, pipes here to make sure that I can dislodge the outer hull easily. So there. What's in my way? Ah, oh, some kind of junk. Alright, so uh, same operation as before. Getting that stuff onto the Jaxus now. It should be working, I hope. Otherwise I forgot to uh, dislodge something, but no. So there you go. Hardest part about playing with tethers is uh, finding out how many tethers and at which angle uh, to use. So, it's just my experience. So, there's another bad one turning red. <laughs> Alright, so there you go. If you uh, bind them to the Jaxus before uh, tossing them into the processor, the risk of uh, Losing uh, parts to the furnace uh, is a lot lower. Alright, so now everything here is accessible and uh, we're now able to get the uh, other parts of that ship. So uh, there's uh, more coolant. I strongly advise to pick up the coolant before you pick up electrical parts. And there's that generator we were looking for. So it's no longer uh, part of the uh, aft part of the ship. It's part of the reactor. And I really love that. So uh, we're now having 
that part gone. So there we go. That's the airlock portion. So to get behind that, I don't have enough time on this shift. So uh, let's get into the hab and restart that shift. So like I said, it's uh, I'm pretty sure it's possible to do that all in one shift, but not while talking and explaining, for sure not. So maybe you can beat that time and do it in under 15 minutes. I'd love to see if you're able to manage that. So let's uh, get back into that, start that shift and continue the salvage. Alright, so on this side here we're pretty donezo, so I'm uh, tethering that stuff. Oh, okay, oh, I, I got the right part. Be careful with those, they are filled with uh, panels which are um, easily removed with just the grapple, but luckily not this time. So, to get to this part here there are two ways on doing that. One way is to crawl into that space in here. I really hate to do that. I get claustrophobic feelings from that. <laughs> and uh, laser away those cut points. Beware, above me is a coolant uh, barrel waiting for him to explode on me. So there we go. And uh, there's one more cut point. And like I said, try to uh, get the uh, barrel out of your line of sight completely. To avoid stray fire. So there we go. And uh, where's the way out again? Oh dang it. It's always the same thing. So uh, there's the cockpit. So there we go. I always struggle when I do it like that. But uh, the other way of doing it would be to uh, get into the inner compartments and uh, get in here and destroy that wall here. So this way you could uh, get access to this uh, inner area as well without uh, using the crawl space method. Do whatever is uh, more your, uh, to your liking. I really don't like to crawl to, through these extremely narrow spaces. That's why I uh, started to look for other uh, um, ways to do that. So there you go. Ooh. So I didn't. I still didn't find the uh, um, atmosphere regulator. So let's uh, check that out. Here it is. So the atmosphere regulator is case you're searching for it, just to make it a little bit more complete. That's the uh, part which uh, you use to decompress your uh, ship, so there we go. Boom, that's that. Um, so what's left now is the cockpit section and uh, the rest of the main body of the ship. So the cockpit section can be removed by these connectors just to make everything complete here. So there you go. And uh, there's still door consoles. Use them for your uh, goals. So uh, there's still uh, lots of good things in here. There's another atmosphere regulator, but I'm going to uh, destroy that because I'm a mean boy that just wants to get things done. And uh, we're going to toss the rest of that ship now into the uh, processors to get uh, that sh shift done and that ship done. So you see here, what's left here is uh, lots of stuff for your furnace. So uh, let's tether that towards the furnace. And yep, yeah, that's pretty much it. So uh, that's the light cargo mackerel. Um, like I said, I still have no clue how to defuse that uh, wall with the, the uh, fuel pipes here because they're still glowing. There's uh, no way of getting that uh, fuel out of them in any way, so it's kind of a tragedy, but whatever. Um, also, if you're wondering, there's no real good way of removing the uh, airlock from the ship. Not as far as I know, and not as far as anybody knew that I asked about it. So, uh, if, you, if you know more about it, please add more knowledge to the comments down below. Because uh, knowledge is best served when it's shared. 
So let's uh, get over here, grab some more tethers, and uh, we're almost done with that shift. So as you see here, I'm just um, getting rid of the last few parts of that ship. I'm uh, losing a few materials, you can always go harder into the detail if you want to. But apart from that, um, we did a complete uh, clear on that ship. And I hope that was helpful or entertaining or uh, a lot of things I hope for. And most of all, I hope you're going to watch my other videos as well. And uh, yeah, have a good time, friends, and see you next time. Goodbye.